Alrighty. So today we're going to talk about our first lesson in Adobe Illustrator. Um, we're going to cover a couple things like creating a new document, setting the file size. We're going to talk about how to create shapes using shape tools um, such as the rectangular, rounded rectangular, ellipse, polygonal. Um, we'll learn the star tool and then we'll use the type tool. So today you're going to create a document that's going to exemplify how to create shapes using the shape tools and then you'll submit that for today's um, assignment, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. And it's gonna look pretty similar to Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm working on my computer here. You guys will be on the app stream, but it'll look the same, okay? Um, so if we look at this, we're gonna create a new document um, that's eight and a half by 11 inches. We're gonna title this, I'm gonna go Haas shape and color study and we're going to leave the orientation vertical but you could always create a document whatever you want you can make it however big however small you want to make it and then just make sure all that good 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 and we're going to click create so there we go so we got a piece of paper here so when you look at Adobe Illustrator, it's the same as Adobe Photoshop. It's just different tools, okay? And, and everything's kind of same locationing, um, but like I said, different tools and such, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna do today um, is I'm gonna talk about the type tool and the shape tools. So if we look here, all of our tools are on the left. You got your color swatches, just like Photoshop, all that good stuff. Now, just like Photoshop, if you hover over your tool, it'll tell you what it is. And if that toolbox has a little arrow in the corner, that means there's more options in that area. Okay, so I'm gonna click my type tool and I'm gonna draw a box at the top and I want you to title this shapes using shape tools. Now when you add a text box, the properties window pops up. So I'm gonna highlight my words. And if you don't see properties, you can go to window and make sure properties is checked. So then over here, you can change the size. So I'm gonna make this like 36. And then you can also change the orientation. So where it lies on the page, just like Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna line it nicely in the center and then pick a fun font. Find something cool, some find something, whatever you wanna use. Doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna talk about how to create shapes in Adobe Illustrator using shape tools. We're starting very simplistic, very elementary because everything in Illustrator starts from a shape. When we illustrate a photograph of a pet or a photograph of our a face, we always start by illustrating using shapes. We draw shapes, create shapes. And there's multiple ways to do that, but we're gonna start with the simplistic. So, if you go one, two, three, four, the fifth tool down, you're gonna see a rectangle tool. Now, if you click and hold, there's multiple different things we can do here, okay? Multiple different things. So I'm gonna grab this rectangle tool and there's a couple different ways we can draw a shape with the rectangle. The first way is just click and drag and you're gonna see it's gonna drag and draw a shape. So I'm gonna just draw a rectangle there. The second way I can draw a shape is, let's say I wanted to make a perfect square or a perfect circle or a perfect triangle. To do that with any shape, you would just hold shift, click and drag, and it will constrain it for you. The third way we can create a shape is by clicking once on the document and it will bring up a menu and this menu we can change so let's say I wanted to make it exactly one inch or let's go th two inches wide by a half inch tall click OK and it will create a rectangle now in Illustrator we can, we have a move tool, that's the top tool. So that will allow us to click on a shape. We can change the size of it. We can rotate it. 
all that good stuff, okay? So, now if we go to our shape tool, we have an ellipse. So an ellipse will allow us to draw ovals and circles. So the first way I can draw a circle is click and drag and just freeform one. The second way I can draw one again is if I hold shift and drag, it's gonna make a perfect circle. And then lastly, if I cl click once, I can create a desired size. So maybe two inches wide by 0.5 tall. Okay, so that's the ellipse tool. The next tool down is going to be a polygon tool. So this is gonna allow us to create a shape with many sides, okay? Now, if I click and drag, you probably will get a triangle to start, okay? You'll probably get a triangle, all right? Now let's say you wanted to get a perfect equilateral triangle. Well, if you hold shift, and drag, you'll get a perfect equilateral triangle, okay? Now I can go in and I can adjust how thin it is, how long it is, how wide it is. I can change it and make it kind of fun looking. Now let's say you wanted something like a stop sign or a hexagon or a pentagon. You would get your polygon tool. If you click once on the artboard, we can change the radius, which is the size of it. So let's say we wanted it to be one inch. And then you can choose sides. So let's go stop sign. We'll go eight sides. Boom, there's our stop sign. Now I can adjust it, I can manipulate it, whatever I wanna do to it, and all that good stuff. Now the last tool on here um, is a star tool. So if I grab my star tool, um, once I drag it, you'll probably get a five point star, but just like the polygon tool, if I click once on the artboard, I can change the size or the points. So let's make it a five point star, boom. Or let's make it a 120 point star, boom. size and stuff. So these are the ways that you can make shapes and create different shapes. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to create um, three different shapes in each section, okay, um, just like I did. So one being free drawn, one being constrained, and the other being use, using the document to create it. On your document, I should see three, six, nine, twelve shapes. I should see rectangle squares, oval circles, polygons, and stars. I don't want you to worry about color. I don't want you to worry about any of those things. Um, we're gonna talk about that in our next lesson. What you'll do is you'll go and save this as an Adobe Illustrator file because we're gonna continue working on this. Save that to your Google Drive. And then you're gonna file export as a JPEG, actually we'll go PNG, let's go PNG. It'll automatically set it to that. You'll save it to, you'll export it to your Google Drive. And this is what you will then turn into me on Canvas. All right. So again, I should see 12 shapes, rectangles and squares, circles and ovals, triangles and or, uh, polygons, and stars. Our next lesson, we'll talk about how to use pathfinders to create different shapes. All right, you guys, have fun with it. Best of luck.